Hi everyone, welcome back. Having discussed in my previous videos about how to customize the angular charts of Syncfusion with different chart axis types like category, numeric, logarithmic and daytime categories. Now, in this video, I will explain about how to customize the chart axis with its different customizable options like axis crossing, multiple axis, inverse axis and so on. So, before looking onto it, let me show you a simple example. In this column series chart, you can see the weather statistics data recorded for a week. Here, the chart axes are customized with grid lines that are displayed in blue color. Also, you can notice that the y-axis is placed at right side of the chart and its values are also inversed. Now, I will show you how to customize the axis of Synfusion Angular charts using my existing application. As I have already explained about how to add a simple angular chart of Synfusion to the Angular application, please listen to my getting started video to know the basic steps. And you can also find its reference link in the description part below. Here. In my existing application, I have added the column series chart type now with its relevant properties to view the weather statistics data. As I am directly going to show you how to customize the chart axis in this video, therefore, let's have a quick recap about the properties that I have defined in this application for rendering the column series chart. As a first step, in the app module file, I have imported and injected the column series service and the category service from Synfusion EJ2 Angular Charts package to start using the column chart type with category axis. I have set the chart series type as column here and assigned its data source value with the weather statistics data. Also, you can notice here that I have mapped its appropriate data source fields to the xname and yname properties. Apart from these properties, I have also set the main title for chart with the relevant text labels. And additionally, I have set the value type of x-axis as category to display the text values on x-axis. And then, I have set the custom range and custom interval for y-axis here. Along with this, I have also formatted the y-axis labels to display the temperature values in Fahrenheit format. So here, you can view the column chart output with the so far defined properties. Now, let me set the title for x-axis and y-axis of the chart. So, within the app component class, let me set the appropriate title for x-axis as days of week within the x-axis object. And for y-axis, I will set its title as temperature value. As these variables are already mapped to the appropriate chart properties like primary x-axis and primary y-axis. So here, you can view the chart output with the relevant x-axis title as days of week and y-axis title as temperature value. Okay, next I will proceed to show you how to enhance the chart axis with ticks and grid lines options. Now, I am going to set custom width and color for grid and tick lines of the chart. So, within the app component class, I have added major tick lines and major grid lines to x-axis and y-axis objects and set the custom values for both the properties color and width. As these variables are already mapped to the appropriate chart properties like primary x-axis and primary y-axis. So, now you can view the column chart which shows axis grid lines in blue color and tick lines in red color with custom width. Well, let me show you now how to place the axis opposite to original position. Usually, the y-axis of the chart will be positioned at left. Now, to position the y-axis to right side of the chart, I need to set opposed position option as true within the y-axis object. So here, you can view the chart output which displays the y-axis at right side of the chart. Here, the y-axis of the chart shows the lowest value of the axis near the origin. So, to display the highest value near the origin, I may need to inverse the axis. In this case, I may need to use its inversed property so that I can display either highest or lowest value of the axis near the origin. Now, to inverse the axis, let me open the app component class and within the y-axis object, I need to set its inverse option as true. So here, you can view the chart output showing the y-axis highest value near the origin. Now, let me show you how to add more than two axes to the same chart. In this chart output, y-axis shows temperature value in Fahrenheit format. So, if I want to display the temperature value in Celsius format as well, then I may need to add one more series and axis to the chart and associate the series with the unique y-axis name. To add one more series, within the app component html file, 
I need to define one more series to the chart code. Now, let me open the app component class and here, to have better clarity, I am going to remove these properties from x-axis and y-axis object. And then, I need to add one more data source field value 1 to the existing data source so that each x-axis value has multiple y-axis data points. Ok, let me bind these variables to the appropriate series properties like data source, xname and y name. As I am going to add line series chart, so let me open the app module file and import the line series service from Synfusion EJ2 Angular Charts package and inject the same within the provider section as well. And here, I need to set the series type as line. Along with this, I am going to enable data marker on chart. Ok, next I will show you how to add another axis to the chart. Within the app component class, to add another axis, I need to declare a variable axis and define the name property with a unique name. And then, I am going to set custom range and custom interval for the axis. Here, to display the temperature value in Celsius format, let me define the label format option with template value. Now, I have planned to place the new axis to right side of the chart. So, I will set a post option as true. Ok, now let me bind this object to the axis property of the chart. Also, I need to assign this unique name to the y-axis name of the second series as I am going to plot the data points for this second series by considering this newly defined secondary y-axis. Now when you look on the chart output, you can see three axes in the chart showing temperature value in Celsius and Fahrenheit formats. Alright, finally, let me show you how to position the chart axis. By default, the x and y axis of the chart starts at 0. So, to change the chart axis position, I can use either cross asset or cross as in axis property. Using cross asset property, I can position the x and y axis to start from the specific values. Now, to set specific x and y axis values, let me open the app component class and within the x and y axis objects, I need to define the cross asset property with custom values. Look at the chart output, the x and y axis crosses the values 30 and 2 respectively. Next, using crosses in axis property, I can position the axis based on the crosses at value of specific axis name. So, let me open the app component class. Within the x axis object, let me define the crosses in axis property and set the axis name with the newly defined axis so that the x-axis will cross the secondary y-axis based on the value provided through cross asset property. Alright, now let's have a quick recap about this session. We have seen how to customize the chart axis with the properties like axis crossing, title, declines and grid lines. Also, we have seen how to add multiple axes to the chart and how to place the inverse axis. If you find this video as useful, then give a like and subscribe to our channel too. Thanks for watching this video.